up for him. So what's my takeaway? My takeaway is, from Hey Tavis, that as the Rebbe said to Rebbe Krinsky when he did what he did, my job is to look out for Klal Yisrael, and, every, and Moshe Rabbeinu Niza Pinchas is going to stick up for him. So of particular interest to me is the Rebbe's voice and the Rebbe's image. So he is that they made the mistake of asking me to hear what I take from Hey Tevis. I'm going to share what I think in this area. And that is, I'll just give a couple of dugmais and uh, Rabbi Goldschmidt, the, 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 the uh, keynote for tonight will come up. And that is as follows. Those of you who make your profile image on Facebook, the Rebbe's picture, I have no doubt that you're doing it out of your incredible love for the Rebbe. But every stupid comment that you make to an article has the Rebbe's picture on it. The Rebbe deserves the dignity of a chassid sticking up for him and thinking for a moment that the Rebbe is a person who deserves your respect. And the Rebbe actually, no, he's not going to say in a sicha, don't put my profile picture to be your, don't put my picture to be your profile. But do you think for a moment that every time you leave a comment somewhere, it's the Rebbe's picture. So don't do that. Don't make the Rebbe's picture as your profile image. And if you're going to unlock your photo, your phone in the bathroom, don't make your background photo or your screensaver photo b'chulum. And if you're going to make a meme, if you're going to make a meme with a message from the Rebbe, first of all, make sure they're talking the Rebbe's words. But if you do it, don't plaster the words across the Rebbe's face because the initial... Rabbi Zalman Garari, before he went to Satmer to, to, to tell them that they shouldn't start up with the Rebbe, he didn't ask. It's just a natural reaction that the Rebbe deserves basic human decency that people should stick up for him. And before you're such a chassid and you have a, such a scholar and such a veda, the basic human decency to the Rebbe is, is, is required. The Rebbe is a person who at the very least deserves some respect, no less than somebody else. Never mind that he's the Rebbe and he deserves a lot more respect than somebody else. But Rebbeinu Shalaylam, think for a minute. If you're doing a fundraiser, let me tell you something. Jem did, <coughs> Jem did charity campaigns. And the people, every, every consultant and every advertising company that did a uh, put a picture of the Rebbe in our fundraising campaign because Jem is, uh, the Rebbe is Jem's product and every single one was nixed because you don't make the Rebbe part of your fundraising campaign, even if your entire product is the Rebbe and we truly could do it, but you don't do that. Just because we all love the Rebbe, do not make the Rebbe, don't put an image of the Rebbe in a fundraising campaign. Rebbeinu Shalelem. Something chiyuvi, I was asked to say. L'sayem and something chiyuvi. So, okay, so it's like this. I'll skip over all the other examples. Why nobody speaks up and Ayitach and the Rebbe doesn't have. I'll say something chiyuvi. I'll try and, I'll try and say it in a chiyuvi way. Hagam, we were really just getting started. We'll continue at one of the tables after the video's off, if we need to. When there's a bris... And somebody names a child after one of the of the Ur Elter Zedis, so there's always some lady from the Vibershul who starts crying. Oh, she named after my, you know, they gave a name after my father, and my father is so special. I have never yet seen. I shouldn't say I've never yet seen. I've seen in certain instances that when a when one of us gives a name in Achimendel, that somebody starts crying. That, uh, oh, somebody gave a name after the Rebbe. This is, this is the Rebbe. Oh, oh. Each one, of, this, this is my message from Hey Tavis, that the Rebbe has and needs people who love him 
and who care about him in a very basic, physical way, and that when uh, a parent names their first child after the Rebbe, that a bunch of Bachrim and Yugalait and women and girls should start crying. Somebody was named after my Rebbe. And uh, whatever, there's more to say, but, uh, but Rabbi Gopin, the MC, says that we have to finish up. So Bimela will continue later after the video is off. Lepoil, the Rebbe won. Didan Notzach. And the Rebbe will win. And the Rebbe's Kinderlach will see to it that the Rebbe's dignity and the Rebbe's image and the Rebbe's voice and the Rebbe's message will be respected. And when we succeed and the world respects the Rebbe and listen to what he has to say because they'll look at us and they'll say these are the Rebbe's Kinderlach then we won't need to say we want Mashiach now because Mashiach will already be here. Because once the whole world knows that uh, and listens to the Rebbe and respects the Rebbe and listens to what the Rebbe has to say, it's, one, it's part and parcel with the Sakhin Oilem Malchus Shindal. It's part and parcel with Mashiach being here. The Mashiach is already here. L'chaim, l'chaim, g'tyamtiv. Yeah.